Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another apartment renovation. So yeah, I'm on a roll you guys. I'm telling you, I have done nothing but build. I'm like so far ahead in building, it's unreal. I don't know. I really don't get it. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun with it. But anyways, today we are building and I think this is um is a 17 coal paper coal pepper house. I can't like really see it from here, but anyways, my favorite building to build in or renovate in San Mashuno. And I did ask on Twitter a few days ago. I was like, "Hey, look. You know, I'm building a lot, doing a lot." So Somebody gave me some recommendations on some like apartment themes because uh, I mean as far as like houses building houses is not very hard you know just get on Pinterest find something nice um, and there it just it's a theme all on its own because you know what you're doing but when you go into apartments it's a little bit different because I know you're just like creating a floor plan and it's a lot easier if you have like a theme in mind or something so I don't know I just feel like I run out of themes I pick the same themes or I don't even have a theme I just go in and renovate and um, some of you did reply and give me some suggestions and I did write them down I have them on a notebook on my phone oh, my nose is stuffy sorry <laughs> and um, I also you know just kind of like brainstorm myself so I have like a long list of apartment themes but <laughs> I went to do this apartment and I didn't follow not one theme <laughs> so the name of this apartment is adorable apartment because it's just adorable <laughs> it's very small it's one bedroom and her bedroom okay well it's a, I imagine that it'd be decorated for like a girl a single female sim lives here um, that's why it's adorable it just kind of gave me that vibe but I would think it's so freaking cute um, I love the color swatches. I love the gray. I never use gray. And I think I talked about this in a speed build a couple days ago that I posted. I was like, you know what? I hardly ever use gray. And I love the color gray. But as far as like furnishing, I don't use those gray cabinets. I don't really lean towards like the gray furniture. And I kind of like was inspired by my own statement <laughs> saying I never do that. So... I did just that. That's why I didn't really follow a theme. I came in this apartment with the sole intention of using, um, you know, like a gray color scheme. So, <sighs> sorry you guys. I'm getting like a little bit sick, I think. Or, I mean, it's just this bipolar weather in Alabama. <laughs> it's like winter will not go away. We had two weeks of like the it was like 80 something almost 90 degrees it was so hot i was wearing shorts and a short sleeve everybody was going to the beach getting tans and then um i don't know this past week it's been freezing like it was 44 degrees this morning which some of you probably like wow that's like not even cold <laughs> but for the south it's pretty cold and um it was the same way yesterday but then when i went to pick up my sister-in-law which is like four o'clock it was so hot it was probably almost 80 degrees it was like 70 something and I was like Jesus Christ like that's why everybody down here stay so sick because it's just like this bipolar weather and I seen this post on Facebook it was so funny it said um, winter won't go away because she saw your summer bodies and said nah y'all ain't ready <laughs> which that's true but I'm pregnant so that's my excuse <laughs> but anyways well I just kind of got off on like a little a little off topic there but anyways back to this apartment um yeah that's why i don't really follow a theme i just think it turned out really adorable because i used the gray and like i said it's for a single female sim is who i had in mind and it's like i said one bedroom but her bedroom is so small and i mean like really small it looks like a closet <laughs> but i couldn't really make it any bigger because I was trying to follow a different floor plan than what I usually do when it comes to this build um, or this apartment in general just because like there's only so much you can do but this is a floor plan that I've never really tried before so yeah I really didn't have any options because um, I couldn't move the windows around and I so yeah her, her bedroom is just really small but I think it's okay because like the living area and the dining and the kitchen is very spacious and you know, I mean, I wouldn't imagine that you would move a family into this apartment. 
um, unless you wanted them to sleep on the couch because, um, yeah, it's really small. But, you know, she could be married or have a boyfriend or somebody move in and they could share a bed, but it's just not possible to fit, like, another bed in this house. It's just really small but yeah actually the rug there in the living room I thought I liked that blue but I ended up changing it a little bit later so don't get used to that <laughs> I was a little bit indecisive with the rug um and I absolutely adore that little fireplace or makeshift fireplace that come with, come with came with what did it come with I think it came with the free yeah the free holiday update I think that's so cute and I really like to use it in apartments because well I lived in an apartment one time and my apartment did have a fireplace but it was only the second story apartments in my apartment complex because it was just a two-story apartments only the top floor had the fireplace so I did have a fireplace um, which but I don't know I don't really think that they're very common but I know that you can have like the electric fireplaces they look like fireplaces but they're not fireplaces they just kind of like uh, you know it's like electric heat you get what I'm saying <laughs> um, I've seen quite a few of those in houses um, so yeah I, I sometimes still put you know fireplaces in my apartments when I renovate them and I just pretend it's like electric you know whatever <laughs> and um but yeah I don't know I just I really like that because you can put like the little um candles there kind of make it look like a little makeshift fireplace and it's just like very stylish I really like it and I did squeeze her a desk there behind the couch because I imagine that she obviously would be employed and she needs a little workspace there and um <laughs> thank you to who who was it oh yeah it was um, Sempanians I, I don't I never know which one I'm talking to when they reply back to me but I think it was Cora because she's the one that says she's always you know doing the social media stuff but this was actually like a comment on Facebook so if it wasn't Cora sorry <laughs> but I think that's who it was that I was talking to but in my last apartment renovation I furnished it for a cat and I was like you know I don't know if people in the city you know walk their dogs and she was like yeah you know I lived in New York and I seen dog walkers all the time like on the streets and now that I think about it okay yeah I've seen like the dog walkers in the movies um, but I don't know it's just like kind of foreign to me because I don't live in the city so it's like y'all walk y'all's dogs on the sidewalk like just because I, I relate it to what I've seen on the movies <laughs> um, but she said that people walk their dogs to the parks all the time so for this house <laughs> because of her advice or you know her little input giving me a little bit of knowledge on the situation I did furnish it for a dog I imagine that this single sim here would have a small little dog maybe like a shizu a pug oh a pug those are so cute yeah I can definitely see her having a pug yeah those are cute um like just like a little dog that she has in the house with her you know she can walk it to the park um what's the park's name in San Machino? I don't remember, y'all. Pregnancy brain, let me tell y'all, is a thing. I can't remember anything. The other day, I walked out of the house to Walmart without a bra. And you might not think that's a big deal because some girls don't wear bras. They can get away with it. Okay, I was kind of busty before I got pregnant. Okay, well, I'm pregnant. I, my, my tits are huge. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like TMI, they're freaking humongous. They're just out there. You can't miss them. I, they're, I'm very aware that I don't have one on. It's just I was so comfortable. And I remember thinking, okay, you got to put a bra on. <laughs> because I had like just woken up and I don't ever sleep with one. Because like they squeeze me and it's just uncomfortable when I sleep. So, anyways, I, oh, I, I put on a jacket because it was still kind of chilly. That's what it was. I put on a hoodie. And I walked out of the house, got to the Walmart parking lot, and was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't have a bra on. So, I had to turn around. But yeah, like that's just one example. But pregnancy brain is a thing. It's bad. I suffer with it. I can't remember anything. Like I really can't. I would probably forget my head if it wasn't attached to me. But anyways, back to the bill. Sorry, I'm like going back and forth. But you know, um, the bathroom is pretty small. But I did want to include laundry. So I did put a laundry um, little station area in the bathroom. So she has a place to do her laundry in the entryway just has like that little closet there since her bedroom was so small I didn't have room to fit a closet and I've really been liking um putting closets 
in my bill just because it's realistic to have a closet but sometimes the rooms are so small I just can't so I did give her a dresser I don't even know if you can function in that bedroom I haven't tested it but I can imagine that she would probably not be able to get on the other side of the bed because of the dresser being so close you might have to put move objects on and kind of like push it back a little bit but anyways this video is a wrap so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not it is available for download on the gallery so check it out if you want it that means that love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye